hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you my happy planner setup so this is how my happy planner looks i did do a lot of diys on this planner so i'm going to show you like everything i did um and if there's anything that you want me to show you how to make then i could probably do a video on it so just make sure you leave a comment and I will try my best on having it done. My planner is bulky a lot because I do have a pouch in here with stuff in it that I'm going to show you. But I don't know if I should get the extender rings. That way I can like ha add more stuff to it or just so it won't be like looking like that. I guess I'll start with my front cover and then I'll just show you what's inside. So this right here is a headband i got from dollar tree i got it because i thought it was perfect to just hold my planner close and it's pink and it has some rhinestones it's really really cute i got it from the hair section i thought it was really really cute um and it came with in a pack of different ones so i'm gonna show you the ones that came with actually i got two packs i don't know how many i think three on each pack or something i don't remember but i thought i just thought the colors were so pretty and i could change them around whenever i get like a new theme or a new cover to match so i got that and then i just put this hair clip in here this is a hair clip i got from michael's and i just thought it was really really gorgeous i love bows and i love pink so that's what i, I use to keep my planner closed so i'm just going to remove that and show you what i have right here so this is just a let me zoom in a little thing that i found at like a not a keychain it was in the planner section so i don't know um it's like a keychain but it has little things it has like a pink poodle right here it's so so cute i got it on sale for i think it was like 125 or one one something but it was really really cheap and it has a bow with polka dots and it has a little rhinestone in the center and then this right here it's a a speech bubble and it has hello on it it's really really cute and then this other little chain with some pearls on it i just thought it was so adorable i was like i'm gonna put that in one of my planners and it happened Oh my god my dogs are making so much noise i'm sorry you guys um i thought it was it wasn't gonna fit in here but it does fit like on the first ring up here and then this is my front cover um i did make it myself and i got it from michael's it was just one of those scrapbook papers that they sell like in a pack of like five dollars and i just thought it was really cute this is the back it also has the florals like in the front and then it has some lines i just thought it was really pretty and it says be kind it did, and it does have some foil in it and then this is the back to the front cover and let me show you the back of the back cover this is, is just floral i was originally gonna use this for my front cover but I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna use this one and I liked it. So that's what I have. So this is the pouch that I was talking about. It makes my planner super bulky, but I'm. it's really useful. I like what I keep in here and I kind of want to keep it in here. So I think I'm just gonna get the extender rings. That way it's not as bulky and I can still add more things to it these are my favorite four pens at the moment so everybody knows about these pens right here they are amazing they are the papermate ink joy gel pens i really like using this pen this is the second pen that i really really like it's also by papermate but this is not a uh, a gel pen this is just like a regular uh pen it's really really good you guys like I don't know i think out of these two i think i like this one a little bit better this one i usually carry it on my purse but since lately i've been carrying my planner everywhere with me so i kind of just keep it in here and if i need a pen this is the first pen i grab like honestly this is the pen i go to so i really really love using this pen 
this is the third pen that i carry i love this pen um this is by the brand jetstream it's really really amazing guys i mean it's super super soft and it's so you when you write on it it's so smoothly um i love the little grip here it's like when you write on it it feels like you're even like i don't know i can't explain it but it feels like so so relaxing and i love this pen. the fourth pen that i'm currently in love with is this gel pen and i don't even know what brand it is you guys like it came in a pack of pens when i got a set a planner set from walmart like yeah a walmart pen like i don't know it's so amazing you guys like it's i don't know this is just a really really amazing pen and i know it's like from walmart and you might think it's cheap um when i got these pens from walmart i honestly didn't think i was gonna like them i was like they're gel pens they're gonna suck but honestly the black one is amazing like i'm almost like i have a little bit of left because i've been using it i've been using it that much so when this pen is gone i don't know what i'm gonna do um and i don't even know if walmart carries these pens like by themselves because like i said it came in a set i got from from a planner set from a planner kit last year around christmas so i don't know if they're even gonna carry the planner set um like around the year or something probably it was just like a like a holiday gift thing i don't know but i did post a picture when i got the planner kit um on my instagram if you want to know what i'm talking about then just go to my instagram and just scroll down until you find it i also carry a pencil in here because sometimes i want to write things down places where i don't want it there permanently so I kind of just like using a pencil for that and then I go back and erase it. So yeah, that's why I keep a pencil in here. And I got this pencil a long time ago from Target. The next thing that I keep in here are these three highlighters. They are so cute. I recently got them like four days ago, I think, from Dollar Tree. They're really, really cute. I just thought... They were adorable and they are three different colors. This one's like a green one and then the pink and then the yellow. I love the patterns that they have. They're really cute. The next thing that I have in here is this little star stamp. And sometimes I have, well not sometimes, basically always. I always have to-do list and to-buy lists. So I like putting a little let me show you really quick if i have like a to-do list or a to-buy list i kind of just like putting a little start next to the things that i already bought or the things that i already did so this is why i keep this little star stamper with me all the time i have this marker and this is one of those erasable markers and i don't really use erasable markers for anything but it is a really thin marker so i love thin markers to write things down i don't like writing on thick markers i don't know why it's just not my cup of tea and then the last thing i have in here is a nail file because you never know when you're gonna break a nail so girl you need a nail file with you i always need this like when i, I least expect it i need it i'm gonna remove this just to put it on the side because it kind of bothers me that um it's going to be like making everything bulky while i film but anyways so the next thing i have in here is a quote and this quote means a lot to me it says one day at a time and it has like a heart in it with foil in it i think it's so pretty and then it has pink polka dots this quote means a lot to me because i always tend to like worry about things that i shouldn't be worried about i always like worry about the future and where my life is going and everything so i kind of just have this here as a reminder to live one day at a time you know to just worry about today and just don't think a lot about the future because trust me people will get sick of thinking stuff like I was so like there was a time where I was so depressed and I have a lot of anxiety I still have a lot of anxiety right now but you know I kind of just like having this here so I can remember one day at a time like just worry about today and but yeah that's basically why I have it here it means a lot to me 
this is the back to it it says worry less live more it's basically the same thing worry less live more like self-explanatory that's another reason why i don't plan ahead on my planner because i kind of just don't like the idea of having things written down before it actually happens i just feel like you don't know if tomorrow is even gonna come for you after the passing of my mom i kind of just stayed like in a mindset where it's like you don't know if tomorrow is even gonna come for you so why plan ahead i just try to write things down and if they happen then i put it on my planner so that's just how my mind is right now so i know everybody has like different opinions and different beliefs and stuff but that's just my head right now so Anyways, that's a little quote, two quotes that are like keeping them in the front of my planner. Just as a reminder, like I said, of just worry less, live more, and one day at a time. Anyways, so next I have this little envelope in here. I did make it myself. Basically, everything you're going to see here, it's made by me, except for one thing at the very end that I'm going to show you. But anyways, this is a little um, an envelope and... What I did, I just traced an older envelope that I had and then I put it in a page, in a scrapbook paper that I actually liked. So that's what I did and in here I just keep some receipts. Behind that I just put this little um, die cut of a little cat with a bow. It's so cute you guys, like let me zoom in. I just thought this cat was so adorable, it has a pink bow and it's adorable like who doesn't like it like it's really really cute i got it from google so then the next thing i have here is this two pocket paper thing i don't know what's it even called it's just it has two pockets and again i did it myself i just got a bunch of fold paper foiled washi tape taped them together put some foiled hearts in the front some glitter uh, stars at the top and then just did these two openings here it's really old i honestly been having this little thing from since i got my first happy planner like two years ago like honestly i love it that much i don't want to get rid of it um i just think it's really like useful so maybe in the future whenever i change my whole planner layout colors scheme that i have going on here maybe i'll do another one but for now i love the gold so i'm gonna keep it for now so in the first little pocket here i used to have um stickers and paper clips and stuff that's why it looks so like ugly from right here torn up and stuff but i don't mind it now i have some sticky notes and i got these from forever 21 i did show them in a haul video so yeah i think they are so cute and i love the pink thing right here so i kind of just keep them here because the pink matches and if i ever want cat sticky notes i just grab them from here so that's what i keep there in the second tab here or pocket um i have some stickers and these i got them from walmart these are icons they are very useful um, I've only used two so far because these are new. I barely got them like last week, I believe. And then these right here are some really cute girly with pink and bows emojis. So I just thought these were perfect to put like on my planner whenever I whenever I want to like put like a mood or something. I could just grab them from here. So that's what I have in these pockets. Moving on to the back of that, I have another quote. And again, same meaning, live in the now, which you already know. I explained what it means to me. So that's what I have. And this is a little scrapbook paper that I got from a kit that I got from Walmart last year, like around Christmas year. Um, that's where that's the same kit where the pen I was talking about earlier came in. Then I have my sticky note page. I did this myself. Again, I put some glitter washi tape on the side and grab this foiled and pink paper cut it to the size and put the sticky notes that i love so most of these came from michael's this one is from target this one is from a dollar store not dollar tree it's like a different 99 cent store and then these are from michael's except 
for this one this one is from this is a page flags um this one i got it from forever 21 so behind that i have another little pocket and it's use i use the same paper as over here um it's just a pocket in here i have more stickers let me zoom in i just have a girl in a laptop is this even focused okay so i have some girl in a in a um, laptop and then i have these other ones like chores i have like four of those pages or yeah and then these are also chores and i kind i got these where did i get this from these were from a blog these were free yeah these were free printables from a blog if i remember the name i will um link them down below that way if you want this you can download these yourself i love it because it's really useful it has like water plants wash dishes dust it off clean microwave uh fluff and fold laundry day garbage recycling wash windows you know laundry you know just a bunch of different little things very very useful for your planner or for even your monthly spread i really think these are really really good for that so i just keep them in there the next thing i have here are three tabs i have a shopping to do and a finance in the first one i did make these tabs myself um i know they they're a little bit shorter than i don't know than what i thought i guess i cut them wrong but i don't mind it um this one right here is like the my back cover and this is a shopping list basically i just put like my shopping list here not only groceries but anything that i need from around the house uh like this soap shampoo anything that i need to buy i write it down here and then I do have like little stickers because I just wanted to decorate it. I didn't want it to be so like simple and you know plain looking. So I write down anything I need and then I just take it off and take it with me if I don't take my planner. When I take my planner then I don't usually carry like the list by itself but I have a few pages here. These pages came from Michael's. They came in a little pack. I just took a few of them and put them in here just because i didn't want to make it like super bulky it's bulky enough with my um pouch so i just put a few in here and then i have my to do tab in here i just keep a few pages just so i can write my weekly to do's that way i don't forget or appointments and stuff like that i like write, writing them down here um, and then I do have some stickers just because, I mean, it's a planner. You have to decorate it, right? So I just have that there. And then my last tab is my finance, which basically is just about my bills. Um, I do have a second tab here because this was from a um, finance, I think. What's it called? Let me see. <clears throat> Budget planner this is the set i got from michael's and it has a bunch of things but honestly i know i'm not gonna use all of these i basically just got them for this page right here which i will show you right now but it comes with like um the whole year and then the monthly the monthly whole year stickers and this little pocket so <clears throat> since we are in march i already put well we're not in march yet but march is around the corner a few more days and then march starts so i just started on march and this is the way i set it up so basically this is my month and this is not the month where i plan actually this is just for my bills that's what i'm going to use it for my march is basically over here which i haven't even decorated yet because i always like tend to leave it for the last day so that's why anyways so so this is my monthly spread well not spread because i haven't finished decorating but i did put down some washi in the at the top and on the bottom and then one of the build deal stickers that came with the budget kit that i showed you 
and then some i put down the dates it did came outdated so i also had to put like the march and march over here um but yeah once today tomorrow is gonna be monday so we still have a few days left of february and then uh thursday march starts so i can't believe it's about to be march you guys like oh my gosh but anyways i did put down the dates and then what my first bill which is on the 7th and then i'm gonna put more bills more stickers like this whenever i have time to do this because like i said i just got this um little kit budget kit thing from michael's i think like two days ago so i um, haven't had time to actually write down things but i will do it before march starts so anyways so this is the page i really really wanted that's why i got it i t i was gonna do my own inserts like for the bills but you know what i just saw it and i was like what the heck it's already done i'll just put it in my planner so that's what i did i have some bills here and then i love how it has the due date amount and then if you paid it i do have this sticky note here just because i want to cover i don't want to show like my information but i do have some bills here i still need to write down more so then it also came with this little pocket it's a double-sided pocket i love it in the front side i'm gonna put my bills like so i don't forget what i have to pay and then in the back i'm just gonna put my receipts for my bills so that's what i'm gonna use that for i don't know if i want to write anything here i mean the budget planner kit also came with stickers it has two pages full of stickers i really really like these it came with the months so you can put them like on the tab and on your monthly spreads and then it also has the paid stickers these other cool stickers here and then more writing and little what are these um they look like flowers but i know there's a name i just can't remember right now so that's the first page and then this is the second page it also comes with like little quotes over here and then the money sign payday for like your whenever you get paid from work and then like piggy bank stickers those are so cute and then bill deal pay bill and then some uh clear one not clear ones some blank ones so you can write down things and then i that's where i took the other sticker i used and then more money signs here and then at the bottom more paid stickers i think those are really really useful i love 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 that they included these so that is basically all you guys this is where my planner starts i took off january because it was making my planner so full and since january already passed anyways i removed it i think i'm gonna do that with february once march starts i'm gonna remove the that month and i haven't put my name here just because i write my handwriting is terrible like i do not like it at all i plan on doing like a sticker on my silhouette and then with a pretty handwriting just doing it here and then i have some cute paper clips this one over here it's always on my uh sticky notes page because i like getting there fast so i just flip it there and then this one i just put it here because it's so cute and it's pink and that's the rose i showed you guys how to make on my last video about paper clips so if you want to know how to do that go check it out it's really easy and then i have my aerial paper clip that i also made on that video on my princesses spread because i mean it should be there right it's so adorable and then i always keep a paper clip where i am like writing things down so i haven't done this spread yet that's what i'm gonna do right now after filming this video i really hope you enjoy this video guys i love watching these kinds of videos where everybody shows like their dashboards and their little diys so if there's another video you want me to make please let me know in the comment section below i will definitely try my best to do a video about anything that you want so thank you so much for watching you guys i'll see you on my next video bye